Let's go. Let's go. Brandon, congratulations on the victory. It was a great performance. Thank you. I'm curious how you would uh, analyze yourself this, this evening. How do you think you did? Uh, how I analyze myself? It's crazy, man. Um, I mean, I feel very happy with my performance tonight. Um, I, th I think, uh, to me, it was very clear I was a, a, better, uh, a better fighter, a more complete fighter, like talking about the striking, the, the wrestling, the jiu-jitsu, right, the control around, on the ground. <sighs> Man, I, I can show that in my last fight against him in Anaheim. Uh, so, I mean, my, my main focus for this one was, like, control my emotions, be very focused, be close to my game plan. I did it, and that's why I feel very, very good with my performance. Is it nice? Obviously, you've had to fight this guy so many times. Is it nice to have a performance like this where you can truly say, like, look, I've gone out and I've proved I'm better than him for once, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of people ask, him, ask me a bit, uh, about that. Like, hey, what, what can you change after three fights with the same guy? And, man, so, they, and I said this before, like, the only thing I can change is, like, be more, uh, I mean, have more experience about this about this situation. Like use all my my new tools, all all, all the the new things I've been working with with my coaches. I, I did it like that, and I knew it. I, I knew it. If I can very I can keep my plan uh, going around the octagon, you know, in the middle of the fight. I mean, the, I can do an, a performance like 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 tonight. I know the coaching change wasn't ideal, but how good was? Coach Safe in your corner tonight, and how much of an impact did he have? On Man, I mean, he keep my, my mind on point. Like, keep my mind, like, very focused, very disciplined. Uh, and I'm, I'm very happy to, to add him on the corner. Obviously, I mean, everybody, everybody knows right now the, the thing with James. I love him. And hopefully, like, everything can be, like, very clear in the future in, th in that aspect. But, I mean, I'm so happy with, with Saif. And, I mean, he said he don't want, like, like, any credit. But, man, thank you so much for this, man. He sacrificed a lot because I, I think I wasn't ready to do another change because I was in Kansas. Then every, all that, the bad thing happened. I, I came back to Vegas. And I, I wasn't ready to do another change. So he decided to come with me every single, every single like, weekend or even before, like more days than, than a weekend, uh, to start uh, to work. So I really appreciate it. So maybe uh, in the next one, I need to go to, to Dallas now. Nice. With the, the punch that started the finish, right, he grabbed his eye and suggesting it was an eye poke. To me, it looked like a punch. Did you think I've definitely got him and he's faking or that I've heard him? How did you feel when he saw his reaction? Man, uh, uh, and I think that's why the people was like very angry at the end, maybe. But so I saw the replay, actually. The, the guy, I think he kicked me. I passed the leg and I throw the, the, the hook. The hook was clear, man. Was clear, clear right in his uh, right uh, eye. Uh, and then maybe that's why the, the people are a little com confused because I pushed his hand with my, uh, his face with my hand. But I mean, my, my hand was like in this position, wasn't here. So I don't know, may maybe that's why the people was a little bit mad with me. But what can I say, man? I mean, they were mad with you, but it also seemed like you kind of enjoyed running <laughs> out with them throwing stuff at you. <laughs> man, what's funny? <laughs> I, 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 even I wasn't expecting that. I, I think at the end, the people will be very happy with my performance. But I don't know. I, just, I was just trying to enjoy the moment. It was crazy how all the bodyguards was around me, that, like pushing me. I throw the bell to the floor. Like, oh, they have no, no, leave it there. And I start to run again. I went to, with, with my training partner at the end. So I, it was funny. <laughs> First question, uh, how many tequilas have you had already since the fight? Tequilas? Yeah. Any? I don't have tequila yet. Where is Cuervo? What is, I need Jose Cuervo right now. To fix that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, we heard people saying that there was some kind of uh, talk and altercation with Pantoja after the fight backstage. Uh, as I saw a video of you guys hugging each other, how was this uh, with him? So, yeah, he, he came with me and he was very... Very friendly with me, to be honest, uh, when everything starts, he came with me and said, like, hey, man, today I feel so happy for you. Congrats for the, the bell, whatever. And in that point, everything was fine. There, uh, he started to ask me, uh, like, hey, but when is our fight? Like, in two months, three months, tell me right now. Like, like man, like, 
I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> you know? Uh, and then he started to, to, he started to look a little bit aggressive, to be honest. But man, uh, my only point was like, man, just let me enjoy today, man. Just give me today. Just let me have this moment with my, with my friends, with my training partners, with my wife, with my manager. And then we can make another circus and use social media and the trash talk if you want. I don't know. But just give me this moment. But what's my, my, my only point? Are you, are you tired already this, coming from this uh, uh, quadrilogy with uh, Figueiredo and everything he was saying to you for all these years? And now maybe Pantoja acts in the same way for him? No, I, I, think, I think, hopefully, I don't know, but I, I think with, with Pantoja will be, will be different. I think right now he's very excited because, uh, and he's a little bit desperate to, to get the, the, the fight for the title because with all this uh, rivalry with uh, Davidson Figueiredo, I mean, we start with 2020 and we finish in 2023. It's crazy. I understand the, the, older, challenge, the older challengers, but man, uh, I'm ready. Hopefully, I, nothing happened with my knee. I don't know, but I, I'll be ready in, in, in the moment when I feel it. Pantoja was on the post-fight show, and he said he's not impressed that he beat you twice already. He's willing to fight you in Mexico if that was the, the UFC wants. Uh, do you want to fight in Mexico next, or do you want to fight in the U.S.? What's, what's the, the ideal scenario for you? I think as a Mexican, uh, we deserve a, a, a pay-per-view again yeah. in Mexico City. Uh, right now, I think... Uh, we have an amazing position where Jair, Par Jair Rodriguez is fighting in February. Alexa Grasso is fighting in March. Uh, uh, not, uh, nothing is, is official uh, yet, but uh, Irene Aldana sounds like a really clear possibility for Amanda. So I think this is the year for the, the, year for the Mexicans mm -hmm. in, in, you know, in, in mixed martial arts. So I'm excited, and I, I for sure I want to go there. A final one for me. Uh, what are, do you expect from Figueiredo fighting at Bentaway? He announced his... He's done with flyweights. He's moving up to 35. Do you think he's good enough to, to win a belt there as well? Yeah. I, man, I, I said this before. He's, man, he's huge. <laughs> he's very, very huge. Um, obviously, it's not my, my decision. Uh, um, and it's not part of my team. But I said this before. Like, hey, man, like maybe you can feel much better if you move to 135. Let, let's see what happens in the future. Because the 135ers, are huge too. So let, let's see what happened with him. Brandon, buenas noches. Eso, hermano. Felicitaciones por la victoria, Gracias. por capturar el título. Eh, decías en el media day que querías eh, dar un golpe a la mesa, dejar en claro quién era el mejor peleador en esta tetralogía. ¿Crees que la cuarta fue la vencida finalmente? Lo hiciste, digo. ¿Viste, viste el statement que querías? Hermano, yo, híjole, creo que se, esa pregunta se, res, se responde por sí misma. O sea, yo no me vi perdedor en ninguno de los rounds. Yo personalmente creo que los gané todos. No he visto las tarjetas de los jueces, pero yo siento que los gané cada uno. Conseguí lo que quería, conseguí los mejores golpes, conseguí los derribos, el control, los codos. No lo sé, hermano. Creo que queda muy claro lo que dice el día de hoy. ¿Cómo sigue la noche con los festejos y cómo sigue la carrera de Brando Moreno? Nada, hermano. Pues eh, es, lo que, es lo que comentaba hace ratito. O sea, nada más quiero disfrutar poquito ahorita con mi familia, quiero disfrutar con mis hijas. Tengo ahorita ya dos semanas que, que me fui de, de mi casa en Las Vegas para, pues, para venir para acá, para aclimatarme a, a, a Río de Janeiro. Entonces quiero regresar, quiero irme con mi esposa, apagar el teléfono, estar con mis niñas y perderme un ratito. Creo que lo merezco. Quiero, que mi, quiero que también que mi mente descanse un poquito. Creo que todo esto el asunto de la rivalidad, todo el asunto del año pasado, donde pierdo el cinturón y empiezo a hacer ciertos cambios en mi vida, o sea, me desgastaron tanto física como emocionalmente. Entonces, entonces quiero que mi mente también sane, sane un poquito. ¿Cómo queda tu relación y la relación con Davidson después de, de, de esta tetralogía? Eh, se habló mucho, hubo mucho delante de cámara, hubo mucho detrás de cámara. La primera vez que ganaste el título, él te levantó, parecía que había, había buena onda, después fue cambiando. ¿Cómo queda la relación? Mira, yo, yo dije esto antes y o sea, lo vuelvo a repetir, tengo cero, cero enemistad con él, no tengo nada en contra de él. Eh, hasta cierto punto comprendo lo que él estaba haciendo. ¿no? Y creo que tiene que ver mucho por la gente a su alrededor, de cómo lo aconsejaron, de cómo lo han aconsejado a lo largo de su carrera, de que hey, tienes que vender la pelea de este modo. Yo personalmente yo no comparto esa ideología, 
Pero pues al final somos personas que queremos lo mismo, ¿no? Queremos lo mejor para nuestras familias y queremos conseguir lo más que se pueda eh, para poner pues el pan en la mesa para nuestros hijos. Eh, entonces, pues nada, te digo, yo al final de la pelea fui, le di la mano a, a, a Davison, él se acercó conmigo, me dio un abrazo y me dijo, hey, perdona por todo lo que di, dije al... El, pues antes, pero pues uno está, está intentando hacer la chamba y por ese lado pues, lo súper comprendo. Y la última en mi caso, eh, esta tetralogía creo que es la única de UFC, eh, la primera que se me viene a la mente, así de peleadores que hayan peleado cuatro veces, Vanderlei Silva y Rampage Jackson, ¿dónde crees con el tiempo que va a quedar esta tetralogía entre Davidson Figueredo y Brandon Moreno? Nah, yo me... Yo creo que esta historia entre Davison y yo, o sea, se va a escuchar y ya va a estar marcado en, lo, en el Salón de la Fama de la UFC por seguro. O sea, no, no me queda ninguna duda. Yo creo que cuando las artes marciales mixtas en México crezcan muchísimo, que se abra el PI, que yo ya tenga, no sé, eh, 40, 50 años, creo que es algo de lo que se va a hablar. Creo que ya es algo que estampé en la historia de las artes marciales mixtas. Felicitaciones, Brandon. Gracias, por hermano. Mi parte. ¿Cómo estamos? Gracias. Eh, después de cuatro peleas ante Davison, eh, ¿Te consideras el mejor peleador entre los dos? <risa> Sin comentarios. <risa> y bueno, la última parte de Somos MMA. Eh, ¿Consideras a Davidson como el rival más importante de, de tu carrera? Aunque Por faltan un montón más. Por supuesto, ¿no? Y, y, y es lo que... Eh, vuelvo a repetirlo, tengo nada en contra de él. Eh, aprecio muchísimo y me siento muy agradecido por todo lo que formamos juntos porque al final del día lo, lo, lo formamos juntos y fue un rival increíble o sea fue un rival que sacó lo mejor de mí cuando lo necesité cuando necesité hacerlo y eso me hizo crecer como como atleta y definitivamente como ser humano no tanto el hecho de haber peleado con él en 2020 el empate después la victoria por el cinturón cambia mi vida pierdo y eso me hace revolucionar toda mi vida y tomar decisiones Te digo como atleta y como ser humano estoy muy agradecido con él por haber compartido toda esta historia Brendo usted empezó acá Usted empezó llevando eh, Davidson muy rápido para, para el suelo. Sí. ¿Y, eh, ¿Fue parte de la estrategia o, o el momento? Mira, no te puedo decir que fue parte de la estrategia en sí. O sea, la estrategia en sí era ser un peleador completo de artes marciales mixtas y utilizar todas mis armas. Creo que uno de los errores más grandes que tuve en la pelea pasada, que fue en Anaheim el año pasado, eh, fue que fui muy emocional. Eh, eh, quise solamente intercambiar eh, golpes con él Y creo que o sea, definitivamente Él pega mucho más duro que yo Es mucho más grande que yo Me conectó en el, en el tercero Y en el quinto si no me equivoco Y pues eso creo que es eh, lo, eh, lo que hizo Que los jueces le dieron la pelea a él Entonces dije, hey, ¿sabes qué? O sea, tienes muy buenas manos, Brandon Moreno pero también tienes jiu-jitsu y también tienes lucha y, y nada, te cuesta utilizarlo todo. O sea, el plan era, claro, por ahí intentar los derribos y se levantaba a seguir, estar, eh, seguir golpeando y utilizar mejor mis ángulos y volver a intentar el derribo y controlar. Simplemente quería hacer todo el, el paquete completo. Eh, después de la victoria delante de Formigo, usted me dijo que tu hija siempre te da un juguete para traer esa vez. Mi hija ya te... creció, mi hija ya creció, ya está en la tablet todo el día, ya no me dan nada. No, pero, pero no, la verdad es que soy mi mayor inspiración. Y no, y no recuerdo qué año, qué año fue esa pelea. Todavía no nacía, todavía no nacía mi, mi niña la más chica, creo, si no me equivoco. Pero la verdad es que mis tres niñas son, son todo lo que tengo en la vida, la verdad. Brenda, aquí. Este evento, esta noche, será por siempre recordado por la noche que te got el título de vuelta. But also the same in the same night, true legends retired. Do, what do you have to say about Shogun Rua and Glover Teixeira? Man, they are like they are living legends, man. I mean, Shogun. Let me let me tell you something. So, uh, I'm start I'm start this sport in, in 2006. So, Pride, for example, was already like doing events. And I don't have never the opportunity to watch uh, the fights of, I don't know, Shogun, this, all these ladies who was fighting there in Dream, in, in, in Pride, because I, I don't have the, uh, uh, first of all, I don't have like cable, I don't know, like cable, television cable, I don't know. If, cable TV. Uh -huh, yeah. Cable TV. And I mean, mixed martial arts in Mexico in that year was like, doesn't exist for nothing. So 
after that, when I start to do the sport and I start to watch like highlights in, in, in YouTube and that, uh, and that, that stuff, I, is when I start to meet the lanes like Shogun Rua, now Glover Teixeira. I, I mean, I love his boxing. I think he's still an amazing warrior. But I mean, I don't know. I think they put all, all his uh, hair in this sport. And I mean, I, I'm just like very grateful to share the octagon with them tonight. Brandon. I, oh, I have another one. I uh, would like to hear from you, uh, how was the experience of fighting in front of the Brazilian crowd? <laughs> we saw that after the fight, the security team had, you, had your back, maybe afraid of something <laughs> happening. But I, I saw a video that you was like uh, screaming and, and like maybe enjoying that, that moment, that moment. Not, not screaming afraid of the situation, just putting energy out, you know? How was that <laughs> moment? How was that moment for you? Oh man, well <laughs> Was crazy. I mean, first of all, this experience, I mean, will be part of my, of my mind forever. Like, will be part of my nature uh, uh, since uh, since today. Um, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. You know, I, I wasn't. I, I I was expecting like a little bit, maybe more love from them. I think they they uh, are a little bit confused with the end of the fight because they think I poked the eye of Davison. But I mean, they can they can see the replay. I was a clear uh, hook I throw to him, and that's uh, that closed uh, his close his eyes. But I mean, they are very passionate, you know, uh, and nothing, nothing. I'm I'm just happy to to get the the victory, and man, I have a lot of respect for the Bra for the Brazilian fans. And actually, I love I love how they. Uh, put a lot of respect of the mixed martial arts of the fighters. Like maybe, maybe they they don't they don't know you, but they they see you on the street and they're like, hey, Bose Bose lutador. Like it looks like like with some kind of respect, and I really appreciate that. Brendan, which fighters do you think will give you the most uh, the the hardest fights from now? Like my future, my next fights. Yes, man. So I I, I understand how's the the line right now. I, mean, I think for sure Pantoja deserves the next the next uh, fight for the title. Uh, Nicolau is doing an amazing job right now too, uh, and Manel Cave. I think uh, those three guys are the, are are the next ones. At the end, I, I don't I don't took the the decisions. I'm just ready to fight, and I'll be ready for the for the guy uh, UFC put me on the line in the front. Thank you. Brandon, ¿cómo estás? Buenas noches. Hola, buenas Felicitaciones noches. Muchas gracias. por esa victoria merecida. Claramente ese Brandon hizo y dejó todo ahí arriba para llevarse la victoria y el mismo Figueredo también eh, te lo reconoció, ¿no? Sí, sí. Eh, ¿Qué le dirías a ese Brandon que en algún momento dudó de él o pasó por esas situaciones, como decís vos, cambiaron muchas cosas, perdí, gané? ¿Qué te dirías a vos mismo? ¿Qué me diría a mí mismo? ¡Cállese los hocico! Cállese, aguante vara y siga para adelante. Y así lo hicimos. Y es curioso, y, o sea, qué chido que lo menciones porque no te voy a negar que, madres, este último, este último año en específico mi cabeza ha dado muchas vueltas. He tomado que tener, he, he tomado, he, he tenido que tomar decisiones fuertes en mi vida eh, que le han dado vueltas a todo, a, o sea, 180 grados, ¿sí? Y, y no te creas, a veces dudas de ti mismo, de que madre, o sea, lo estás haciendo bien y esto te va a resultar y qué pasa si esto y qué pasa lo otro. Mi, mi terapeuta le dice que son como moscas mentales porque están ahí molestándote de repente. Pero la gente tiene que entender que soy una persona mentalmente demasiado dura. Toda, la gente me mira sonriendo y siendo amable y haciendo bromas y todo ese tipo de cosas pero estoy, no sé, estoy un poquito loco. <ríe> sí, estoy un poquito loco y creo que sí, para hacer ese tipo de, de cosas y estar en ese tipo de deportes, sí, sí necesitas un poquito de esa locura para sobresalir. Y, y nada, estamos aquí, estoy disfrutando de la victoria y estoy disfrutando del hecho de que, a pesar de que hubo momentos en los cuales sí, dudas de ti mismo, pues no lo hice y seguí para adelante. Muchas gracias, te felicito. Muchas gracias, gracias. ¡We did it, Joe! ¡Let's go! Isso! Ai, cabrão! Obrigado, galera! É só de, de comer churrasco. Eu quero comer churrasco agora.